Hello there, it's Melissa with MelissaEsplin.com. I'm excited to share with you my process for this year's Mother's Day card printable. You can check out that printable at MelissaEsplin.com and um, you can print it off, send it to somebody you love, and hopefully put a smile on their face. Here you can see I'm using a Nico G nib with Ziller soot black ink and a Huang Dao custom made holder. It's just one of my many go-tos. I use a lot of different nibs and supplies with all of my projects. It really just kind of depends and this is what I was sort of vibing today. Just something I was going for a more delicate fancy look. Here I'm using a finer paper. I'm actually using a cold press watercolor paper it's either Canson or um, B watercolor paper. I'll link to the products in the description, all of the materials that I use in the description if you'd like to try those out. Um, but it's got a smooth enough surface that my hairlines aren't too jagged. And one other thing that I forgot to mention is that this ink, the soot black ink, it's actually quite waterproof. I have a blog post about um, inks that do and don't work well with um, getting wet and this was one of those unexpected high performance inks that did really well with um, water on top of it so simply because I, I wasn't planning on putting any watercolor on top of the message but I didn't want to take any chances of spilling any water anywhere and making a mess of the calligraphy work so that's kind of one of the reasons why I use the Ziller Soap Black. And right now I'm working on some peonies and I'm, I'm really trying hard on the, the peonies, trying to keep them pretty loose. I, um, Esther Peck and Natalie Malin make loose watercolor peonies just look super, super easy and effortless. Um, I'll link to more of their videos in the description but yeah I'm I'm <laughs> trying to stay pretty loose and it's pretty difficult I'm using professional inks I believe this is upper rose and quinacridone orange and just a simple size 6 round brush nothing too fancy I forgot to keep my hands clear of the paper so you can see I have a little thumbprint, fingerprint right there where I'm working the watercolor into the paper. It really kind of messed that flower up a little bit. So um, I don't know, maybe words to the wise, <laughs> keep your fingers off your work or wear gloves while you paint just because it really can mess up your flow. All right, so here I'm gonna speed things up a little bit just so you can see um, and not get entirely bored. I'm just tweaking the peonies a little bit, adding some different colors, changing where the water kind of ends up resting and adding the yellows in the middle just to give it that little bit. And then the greens on the bottom of the blooms so that it um, looks a little bit more dynamic. Adding the greenery is probably one of the things that stresses me out the most because I feel like this is where it can totally go so wrong. I try to keep things more or less symmetrical without being exactly identical because if you keep it exactly identical then it's just going to look boring, a little more stale. So this is just me adding more greenery until I feel like it's balanced enough to scan and make into a printable. Here I'm adding little bits of turquoise just to offset all the pink and green. I just feel like that little bit of brightness balances out and then tiny little yellow flowers coming out just kind of finishes it off. Um, so anyway, head to melissaesplin.com, see the link in the description for the printable. You can print at home and send it to someone you love.
Thanks so much for watching. Check out calligraphy.org to learn calligraphy and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.